Well, if you're like a lot of people, your new Wednesday night plan involves watching Empire on Fox. The new episode airs tonight, so here to talk about it is Lee Daniels, Empire's co-creator and executive producer. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? I'm doing well, and I'm so excited to talk about this because you have somehow found a way to weave every possible topic in today's society into your show. So it's, I mean, race issues, homophobia, drugs, money, blended families, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Was that super intentional? And if so, what was your goal in bringing up so many different kind of talker issues and controversial issues? You know, I just try to tell my life story. A lot of it is my life story. And I try to, I can't, in all my work, this is my first time, you know, doing television. And so... I applied the same theories for my theater work that I applied for my film work into TV that I, I can't uh, tell the story if, it, if it's not personal, if I don't know the people, if I haven't walked in these shoes or ate this food. And so it's a, it's a little piece of my life. We've not seen an African-American family ever with money on television. And, and, and how do people act? And so, um, or family drama with, with uh, black people in, in, the, in that milieu. So it's very exciting because we're... We're, we're doing something different, and I love different. Hop up the car if that is what you want to do. Drop the drama thumb. Do what you're going to do. I'm I don't know why they let us on TV. Do. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're having so much fun. You know, one of the harder topics, though, is ALS. Is that something that was personal to you, or was that intentional in bringing up that topic? Because I know that hits a lot of viewers when, you know, it's one thing to talk mm -hmm. about family issues, something like that, but if someone's dealt with that in their family, they know how rough it is, and that's something, you know, one of the main characters is dealing with right now. My, my best friend is Lenny Kravitz, and his, um, the woman that helped raise him, auntie, his auntie, is, uh, has just, and she's, and she is, I think she's a couple years older than me, has ALS, and it in and I, I've, I've I've seen it. It's it's the most debilitating. It is it is so painful, and so you have to put on this face. You have to put on this face that everything's okay when you see her, and it and it and it's uh, I don't know, man. It's the worst. Is Snoop Dogg going to be a guest star? Is this for real? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. What are we gonna see? I can't. Don't make uh. me tell you. I can't tell you. But it's uh, fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then what about this one? We saw a picture of you and Denzel Washington on Instagram. Is that connected to Empire mm. in some way? <laughs> okay. Really? We just have to keep watching. I'm curious about uh, getting <laughs> Taraji B. Henson and Terrence Howard uh, onto the show. Was this something that was an easy sell for them? Did they buy in right away? Or were they pumped about it from the beginning? I always wanted Taraji. And so I Skyped her. I said, so is this something of interest to you? You know, you want to come in, you want to read? And she says, yeah, but I really think we should have Terrence Howard. And I go, well, you don't have the job yet to be making demands. And then I realized, oh my God, that's who Cookie is. You know, this place ain't half as bad as where we live in Philly. <laughs> but me and your daddy still made some number one hits in there. We sure did. Shoot rats in between takes and all. Well, they screen tested, it was magic, and the rest is history. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Lee Daniels, yeah. congratulations. It's already been renewed by Fox for a second season, so it's obviously doing well. Have fun with it. Thank you very much. All right, you guys, if you Bye, have been watching this and are wondering when can I catch it, Empire, tonight, 8 o'clock, right here on Fox 4.